It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Wednesday, May 15, 2024. Number one, Baltimore, Maryland crews demolish remaining sections of the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge after a weather-related delay. The Dolly, the 984-foot container ship, caused the collapse when it lost power and rammed into a support column. Six people were killed as they filled potholes on the bridge. The Dolly will be refloated and towed to a nearby terminal for temporary repairs. Number two, Secretary of State Antony Blinken raised concerns about Israel's use of U.S.-made weapons in Gaza, which has implications for U.S.-Israel relations and the ongoing conflict. One of the critical developments adding complexity to the situation is President Biden's ultimatum to Israel, wherein he warned against a major offensive in the city of Rafah. Biden's ultimatum underscores the delicate balance the U.S. faces in its relationship with Israel, a key ally in the region, while also emphasizing the importance of upholding international humanitarian law and minimizing civilian casualties. Number three, high blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is when your blood pressure, the force of your blood pushing against the walls of your blood vessels, is consistently too high. Blood pressure, the result of two forces, the first force, systolic pressure, occurs as blood pumps out of the heart and into the arteries that are part of the circulatory system. The second force, diastolic pressure is created as the heart rests between heartbeats. These two forces are each represented by the numbers in a blood pressure reading. Number four, according to NBC News, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves signed into law a bill Monday that would bar transgender people from using bathrooms that correspond with their gender identities in the state's public schools. The legislation titled the Securing Areas for Females Effectively and Responsibly Act, or the SAFER Act, mandates that the state's schools have single-sex bathrooms, changing rooms, and dormitories. This makes Mississippi the 12th state to enact such policies against trans folks. The new law takes effect immediately. Number five, Shun D. Riley has been missing from Kelso, Washington since May 9th. The 35-year-old man was last seen around 2.40 a.m. According to police, Shun, who was in Cowilts County for work, exited the Comfort Inn and Suites in Kelso and has not been seen since. Police say that Shun was in extreme distress. Shun was seen wearing a white t-shirt, dark shorts, black socks, and black headscarf. He also has thick eyebrows, tattoos on both sides of his neck, sleeve, and the left hand, it says, Mary in bold letters. Anyone with information about Shun's disappearance, please go to the Black and Missing Foundation website. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. When you practice gratitude, abundance flows plentifully into your life. Inhale gratitude. Exhale entitlement. Whew. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central. As producer Stephen Hill, comedian Myra J, and LGBTQ activist Quinn Townsend Riley, as we discuss today's top headlines and more. I'm Sybil Wilkes. Be informed, be empowered.